Dad? Are you there? Yes. Yes, honey, I'm here. I'm here. Are you okay? Fine, really. Cole's been amazing. Yeah, uh... Star, why did you take off? Because it seemed to me that we were doing so much better. It seemed to me that I was easing up about Cole, wasn't I? Yeah, you are. Yeah, okay. Well, then why'd you do it? Why, why'd you... why'd you run away? Look at him. Doesn't my Rexy have the roundest, cutest tushy you've ever seen? <laughs> Glenn, uh, the woman asked you a question. <laughs> Thanks, Vince. So, Chris, what do you think? Hmm? Cute kid. <laughs> Cute kid, huh? Okay, so uh, what do you guys got planned for this bachelor bash? You need a stripper? Because I know this cool hooping, fire eating shit. Should we go and take her clothes off at the price is right? Roxy, thank you. I would appreciate that, but I think tonight is going to turn out to be pretty tame. Oh, I wouldn't bet the ranch on that. Bo! Oh. Hey. 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 All right. I see you cashed my check. How do you too? We're past the small talk, Brody. You accepted payment, and now you need to come across with the goods. How do you know I'm not halfway around the world with your money? Because whether or not you'd like to admit it, Gigi still means something to you. And you're curious about the little boy who idolizes you. So you need to come back from the dead and surprise your old girlfriend at my fiancé's club in one hour. You sure that's all? I want you reunited with Gigi by tomorrow. Got it? I better see you later. You know, Adriana, if you are that scared and desperate about Gigi, maybe you should call off the wedding. Isn't it so great to finally get our stuff out of storage? How cool is Vicky to let us stay here? Uh-huh. This place is huge. Not so huge that I won't notice if you don't pick up after yourself. Oh, that is so not funny. Shane Morasco, <laughs> get up. Hey! Hey! Uh, hi! Check out our new place. Isn't it awesome? You're moving in here today. Yeah. It's a big leap from where we were staying before, I know. <laughs> and what's wrong with today? Adriana lied to me. I'm telling you, it needs a dash of nutmeg. Nutmeg? In key lime pie? No wonder you never won a pie baking contest in your life. For the love of God, would you two stop talking about pie? Do you realize there are whole sections of this great country of ours where people don't give a flying Melinda about pie? Workplace harassment. Traffic looks good. We should be at the club soon. Cool. The fridge is fully stocked. Help yourself to whatever you want, Mr. Dog. Call me Snoop. Check this out. Yeah. All that you give is one night to live. All that I have is one night to live. All that you give is one night to live. I try to do right, I try to do right because I only got, only got, only got, only got All that I have is one life to live <laughs> His plane has landed, the dog father is already on his way Ah, oh, wow, 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 yippee yo, yippee yay yeah. Hey, okay. what time is Adriana's birthday? I'm sure she'll be here in time for the big surprise Oh, God, the way this is the look on her face, she is going to freeze oh, Yes you never give up, do you? You're still out to get Rex and me. Uh, Adriana, I'm really worried about your state of mind. Do I have to remind you about our deal? No. You do everything you can to make sure Rex and me get married, and you get to stay in my life. I just want you to have the wedding of your dreams. And it will be. 
once I shore up my insurance against anything happening between Rex and Gigi. Insurance? I mean, can you hear yourself? I'm my mother's daughter. You should be proud. And thanks again, by the way, for raising Brody from the dead. You know, while I was off chasing down your insurance in the form of Gigi's ex, everything here, at home, my family, was falling apart. Star has a mother. Mom, you're mine. And Langston's. You have no idea what has happened to her. But then again, I, I certainly don't want to burden you with that uh, the day before your wedding. However, may I say this? I think that your um, chasing after insurance that your fiancé does not leave you for another woman is beneath you. Don't you see that? Adrian lied. Evelyn Evil strikes again. Shane, go unpack your action figures. I put the box in your room. Mom! Now. Never does he know the good stuff. It's okay. I shouldn't have said that in front of him. I... It's okay. So, uh, what's going on? You're not going to Adriana's bachelorette party today, are you? No. All of a sudden this afternoon, she starts insisting that I come. She never even sent me an invitation. I'm just really sick of her game. Well, she just steamrolled me into coming over here today to take you to her bachelorette party. She made it sound like you guys were best of friends. Not. So then there was no heart to heart today? More like dart to heart. She barged in on something between Rex and me and then turns on this phony charm so Rex can't tell that she's out for my blood. It's so junior high. Wait. She walked in on something between you and Rex. You just had to bring that, didn't you? You look great in your birthday suit like you will on your wedding night. Don't worry, man. Chris said you look cute. Yep, I heard him say it. <laughs> this, this is just jealous because he was too ugly to take a picture of. Ooh, oh, snap! <laughs> a toast. Things up uh, To ugly babies. Ooh. Here, here. Why are you going so hard in the sauce? You never do that unless something's really bugging you. So, John McBain and Talia Saeed. What's that all about? I know it's not about romance. Pick that up, huh? Come on, I'm not stupid, Antonio. You can't be implicated, Bo. That's all I can say. Why not? I mean, if it's not illegal, I can hear it. I'm, I'm a civilian. Enjoy your vacation, because you're not going to be on one for long. Tony, <sighs> listen. You're going to try to nail Ramsey, aren't you? Oh, damn it. Just be careful, okay? I don't want to hear about all you guys. Uh... Dangerous situation. Oh, yeah, um, you're worth it. Okay. Ramsey took the job for a reason, and it wasn't to be police commissioner. We're gonna stay on this until we find out what that reason is. Okay, I can see why your mom dug this place. It's got some serious down home charm. Hmm, doesn't matter. All I'm saying is that the pie is as good as they advertise. Oh, it's good. Blue ribbon good. And then I am in trouble. How are we harassing you? Oh, come on. You two been going out like pit bulls in a basket. Why don't you just get a room? Excuse me? What are you talking about? Do I look stupid to you? I've seen some clueless people in my day, but you two take the cake. Or pie. Why don't you just fess up? You two's been bitten by the Texas love bug. Okay, fine. You want to know why I ran away, Dad? It was because I couldn't take it anymore. You wouldn't listen to me, and you wouldn't accept Cole. Well, I was trying, honey. Oh, what, by saying that I might be able to see Cole in six months? Did Cole force you to do this? No, he didn't force me to do anything, Dad. Okay, I ran away with him because I love him. 
And I can't believe that after everything we've been through, you're still blaming him. You're never going to change, Dad. Just tell Mom and Jack and Sam that I love them, okay? No, wait, 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 wait. Start, wait. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. And I'd like to prove it to you. And I'd like to prove the call. Just because you and Charlie are alcoholics doesn't mean it's in my blood. Well, be that as it may, why are you getting smashed? It's my bachelor party. Getting drunk is part of the ritual. Well, I hope that's all it is. Hey, listen, I got a jet, because I don't want to miss the male strippers that uh, Adriana shouldn't take. There are going to be strippers? Oh, yeah, baby. So, hasta la next. Uh... Got a dash. Listen, don't be nervous. You get married to the woman that you love. I wish I could click my heels and be back in Texas. My life was so straightforward back then. A very nice non sequitur. A non what? You're trying to change the subject. I ran my mouth and I shouldn't have. I think I'm messing things up between you and Adriana. Adriana's doing a fine job of that all by herself. Rex asked Michael to be in the wedding and Adriana didn't ask you. She's punishing you for being friends with me. I don't care. I really don't care if she gets so angry that her little beady eyes just pop out of her head. There's an image. <laughs> you, you looked after me and Tommy when I had no one else to turn to. You're my friend. And if something is bothering you, then I want to know about it, okay? So, what happened with you and Rex? <laughs> what did Adriana walk in on? We just took a stupid little walk down memory lane and where did this little walk go rex basically said that by spending time with me now it makes him sorry for leaving me okay so is rex falling for you are you falling for rex i saw them together today Gigi's still head over heels for Rex. And there she is. So what? Rex adores you. I'm doing what I have to do. You know, this really doesn't make any sense. Brody Lovett didn't turn out to be the man we hoped he'd be. And for you to depend on this sleazy lowlife as insurance to, to keep Gigi... Oh, honestly, are you that desperate? Yes. Why? Because I don't want Gigi hanging around, pining after my man. You know, a Kramer does not do armed combat against someone like Gigi. No. A Kramer just bats her out of the way, like the mosquito she is. Like you batted Vicky or Nora out of the way, or... Anyone else that came in between you and the men you love? Prove what, Dad? I already know you're sorry that I'm gone, but you're not sorry about how you treated Cole, and you never will be. Well, that's not true. I'm making an effort. Yeah, some effort? Asking me if Cole forced me to leave my, my family and my friends? Okay, look, he would never do that to me, all right? And if anybody forced me away, it was you. Yes, yes, I, I know. I know what I did. But you have to understand, as much as I'm trying to change, honey, I'm still your old man, you know? I'm not all that crazy about beating myself up. You know, I never have been, but, uh, uh, I think I was wrong. I, I was wrong. And I'm copping to it. What difference does that make? It makes a big difference. If you come home right now, honey, You can see Cole anytime you want. I promise. I love you so much, sweetie. And when I thought Cole had hurt you, I just... Cole would never hurt me. Yes. I know. I'm sure he wants the same thing that I want for you. 
but for you to be happy. And if being with him makes you happy, then so be it. If you'll allow me, I'd like to make it up to you and to him. You will? I mean, even if I'm... Even if you're what? I've been on to you two since day one. All this pie talk, it's obviously code. So why don't you just get on with it? Didn't I just hear customers come in? Fine. Not you. You. I'm giving you a promotion. It's time you learn how to wait tables. You know, uh, this is where uh, your dad first met my mom. Asked her out the first time. This place is really special. It sparks something in people. I don't think we need any help with that, Sparky. I'm an awful person. Why? Because my brother Rex's wedding is soon and I... I don't want to go back. I want to stay here with you forever. Well, I want to dance with you at that wedding. <laughs> Well, the only way that's going to happen is if you tell everybody that you're not the Buchanan's son. And we have decided we're not going to do that. For many reasons. You ready to rethink those reasons? I just wonder if my mom's ever going to forgive your dad for lying to her and Rex. Yeah, it could happen. Do you want to tell them? Is, is that what you want? You know what I want? I want to put a table between us. Before I can't resist anymore, and I get what I really want. So, Adriana, you are so fabulous, so beautiful, so talented. Trust me, Gigi is not going to be a problem once you're married. Yes, she will. Without Brody's help, Gigi will always be a threat to me. You are giving Gigi too much power. Certainly too much power over Rex. She does have power. Because Rex is Shane's father. Aww. God, look at all this junk. I can't believe I carted all this crap clear across the country. <clears throat> Gigi. First prize high school science fair as a geek. Mm -hmm. Are you falling in love with Rex? What are you talking about? He's getting married tomorrow. I didn't hear a no in there. What do you want me to say? I want you to say how you feel. Just go ahead. Say it out loud. It'll make you feel better. No, it won't. You don't know that. Trust me. Admitting or not admitting anything, it won't make a difference at this point. <sighs> For Pete's sake, will you just quit dancing around the subject and spit it out already? Fine. Fine. You want me to say it? I'm in love with him. I, Gigi Morasco, am so in love with Rex that I can't see straight. To my best man and good friend. Running out of uh, excuses to toast, Balsam. To get drunk at your bachelor party. I think uh, you must have something against that bottle because you're hitting it awful hard. That's a good one. I'm going to use that sometime. All yours, you're welcome to it. You know, the last time that I got totally smashed is when my dad died. I had a lot uh, bottled up inside me. Then what's going on with you, boss? There's UV up ahead on the left. The shizzle, let's do it. First time in Landview, Snoop? Hell no. Nah. Me and this town go a long way back, baby. What were we gonna say? Nothing. Nothing, Dad. Please, just forget it. Forget everything. Okay. Well, honey, I just want you to come home. I want you to come home and, 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 and start over with me. I want you to, to be a home, and I want you to be a normal teenager, and I'll be a, I'll be a typical pain-in-the-ass dad who cares about you or worries about you too much. And uh, and we'll just do it that way, okay? Because we really miss you. We all do. Jack, Sam, of course your mom does. All right, just come home and, and, and be our little girl again. Well, I can't. Why don't you start getting something? I can't, okay? 
feelings for Rex, Gigi, but I didn't think it was this bad. It gets worse. Pretty sure Adriana sees right through me. You think that she knows? That's why she wants to be girlfriends all of a sudden. So that's why she harassed me into bringing you to her bachelorette party. Mm -hmm. She wants to torture me. She wants me to watch how happy she is. She's got Rex. Well, you obviously can't go. <laughs> obviously not. No. I'm not gonna go either. No, Marcy. Come on, can't I just stay here, please? Oh, and help you, you unpack absolutely things. Absolutely have to go, or else Adriana will blame that on me too. Plus, there's supposed to be some kind of big surprise. So go and have fun. I think I remember fun. Isn't that when people sit around and they say witty things like, "Oh, goody, this tastes fabulous." Yes, yes. Now go, please. I will be fine. Well, you call me if you're not fine. I will. Call me even if you are. Okay. Oh, just call me. Okay. 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 Bye. Bye. Okay, he's here. His limo pulled up our back. Okay, breathe. Be cool. You did it. In mere moments, I'm gonna be face to face with Snoop Dogg. Hey, where is Adriana? Rex is Shane's father. How do you know that? Brody told me. What? Please, you believe him? I mean, they, that sleaze could be lying just to uh, avoid taking responsibility for his own child. He told me that Gigi was already pregnant when he met her, and I believe him. Even if that were true, why does that change anything? Look, Mom, okay, I need your help. Help me make sure that Rex marries me. Okay, how can I do that? I need you to find Brody and bring him to my bachelorette party. Oh, no way! That's the what? Um, I'm just going to get a snack and get out of your guys' way. No. No, you are not going anywhere. You are just... No, 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 no. Um, sweetheart, I'm afraid that um, Langston uh, has a, uh, a problem that needs my total total attention. What about my problem? Well, frankly, I think you're blowing it out of proportion. And if you just put it out of your mind, I think that tomorrow you will have what is supposed to be the happiest day of your life. You're unbelievable. Yeah, you, you didn't have to just do that. Yes, I did have to do that. Because you have a real problem. You're pregnant, and we are going to deal with this together. He said that he would be cool with you if we came back to Landview. And that I would be able to see you whenever I want to. And you believe that? I think he was telling the truth. I really do. I, I think that he's trying to change. But the thing is, is that... Oh my God, Cole. 
when he finds out that I'm having your baby, he's going to throw it all out the window. This is crazy. I can't. I can't, okay? Hey, look. Lucky's arcade is open. Ah, oh, Mo, I hate waiting tables. And tables hate me. If, however, uh, one of your customers requires a deep tissue massage, uh, your female customers, that is, get out there now. I cannot even believe you would consider promoting David. The last thing we need is another white person. Well said, Noel. I only did that so you could spend more time with me. Well, you could have said that. Oh. Please, not in front of the dishwasher. I better go check on those customers. Yeah, I, I'm looking for a business called Lucky's Arcade in Wildwood, New Jersey. All right, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, and by the way, girl. Uh-uh. Thank you. I was yeah. waiting for you to do that. <laughs> Cheers. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, look, Gigi's parking the car. Oh, actually, she's moving into the carriage house at Vicky's today, so I don't think she's going to make it. Where is Adriana? Snoop is about to go on. Rax, I'm here. Where's Gigi? All right, look. Here is the address she's saying. Go get her. Hey, what are we doing? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? I, I just wanted to come. Bye. Who are you looking for? Nobody. Crashing my bachelorette party. You can't have a bachelorette party without a stripper, can you? Yeah, that's what I always say. here on business and she said I should stop by and check up on you guys so here I am oh and you're glowing Texas must <laughs> agree with you yeah must be something in the water <laughs> oh, right well I need my Vicky fix tell me everything mom's fantastic oh does that mean that her and Charlie found each other again not only did they find each other they are living together oh what that is wonderful <laughs> oh I am so thrilled for her and what about Charlie? Did he ever find that son of his he was looking for? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. And where on earth are my manners? I'm Noelle, and you must be Natalie's boyfriend. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you were taken advantage of. Your trust betrayed. And I simply cannot allow you to ruin your future because of a careless interlude. I will take care of everything. What do you mean, take care of everything? I've reached out to some of my medical colleagues. 
and I can make sure that you have a professional and safe abortion. I'm looking for the number of uh, Lucky's Arcade business. Thank you. Hi there. Um, are you guys located uh, near the beach? Oh, you're on the boardwalk. Okay. Uh, and did you just reopen? Terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I need a jet ready and fueled in 15 minutes. Virginia Beach. Yes. Okay. with you and whisper in your ear and put his body all up on yours and take his time and move real slow. I know y'all miss those days, but what I want to do right now, I want to take my time and go real slow for y'all. Can I take my time, ladies? Clap your hands and sing this song. Said you want seduction. No, 
Life to live. You will never ever guess who is here right now. Vicky's daughter, Natalie. All Buchanan. We meet again. See you to these kids? Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on Soapnet.